Hi, this is Lindsay from Kodiak Athletic Club and Kodiak College. So with this uh, uh, home circuit number three, get a lot of good response and all of these are on Friends of Kodiak and on YouTube. If you really like what you see, find the others. So the first one I'm going to do is an ab. This is going to be a crunch with feet elevated. Lift up and blow the air out. I kind of encourage you not to do this because you get pulling on your neck. So, And you can also add a twist to this. So blow the air out and squeeze at the top. This next one's going to add a degree of difficulty to your push-ups, and it's actually my favorite way to do them, but the feet are elevated, and it just makes it just a little bit tougher. But I still want to show you our standby, which is our wall push-ups, which pretty much anyone can do. And you can vary the degree of difficulty on these just by where you place your feet. As you do it closer, it's a lot easier. If your feet are out further, it's harder. Triceps and rear delts. If I were you, I'd want a steadier chair than this thing, but we'll give it a try. I hope it doesn't collapse on me. So it looks like this. Again, flex to the top. I don't quite lock up, but I'm squeezing my triceps at the top. I'm not locking my elbows. And you can vary the degree of difficulty again on this one by where your feet are. That's a little more difficult. This is a lot easier. This one's upper, upright rows, and it's kind of a compound exercise, meaning that it gets a lot of muscle. So it looks like this. So you're kind of leading with your elbows, and I usually lift my little finger up, and I'll show you from the back too. This gets middle shoulders and upper back. It's really a good one for posture. Kind of again in regards to posture, this one's for rear delts, and uh, you really don't need very much weight for these, but I, I, I like to do them seated just so, well, number one, it's more comfortable, and number two, uh, you don't get any body rock, and it looks like this. So it's out over your head, and again, you're pouring tea or margaritas at the top and flex at the top. And again, this one's excellent for posture. So the next one is standing shoulder press. Again, compound is mostly working the front shoulder heads, but a little bit of tricep involved too. And I'm pushing them slightly behind me. And I don't quite walk out on these and flex at the top. Remember on all exercises, exhale here, and inhale on the gravity part. I showed you the one arm dumbbell row. Here's the two arm version. Not really my favorite because it kind of can get your lower back, but it, it looks like this anyway. You just do both at the same time. But it works total back. It's, and your back erector spiny, and I can even feel it in my hamstring a little bit. So stretch down and up and squeeze your shoulder blades together. Your shoulders are down, chest up, and squeeze your shoulder blades together. We showed you a, a seated curl. This is a standing version. Again, I'm not doing this. <laughs> One of my pet peeves, you just use your biceps, you don't use your whole body. And again, these aren't very heavy, but I can make them work. So here's the vacuum cleaner version. I'm going to show you a couple of variations of this. We showed you lunges, but uh, another type of lunge is a rear lunge where you lunge backwards. And you can do that alternating. So if you're not real coordinated like I'm not generally, you can do this by hanging onto the wall. Yeah, get your quads and get your glutes, and you're real stable, you're not going to fall. This is a seated calf raise, and it's usually done with quite a bit more weight than this. And you can do it flat-footed, but if you have any kind of a board, it might be a good thing to use those old encyclopedias that you still have. <laughs> you put them under your toes. And again, if you go out on the little toe, it's outside toes inside. I would stop at each end. Okay, this should be a lot of fun. You know, workouts should be fun and you should feel good. I mean, one of my models at, at both of our gyms is we want you to feel better when you leave than when you came in. So start small and build on it. So if you haven't done this before, do one round of 10. If you're more advanced, do two rounds of 15. More advanced, do three rounds, do 20, 25, 30 reps. But you gotta have a lot of fun with this. You gotta start small, do it consistently, and build on it. And before you know it, you're doing a pretty good workout. So have fun with all this, you guys.